Hey there, affiliate hero. How was your first campaign so far? Enjoying a high conversion rate? Monitoring the campaign day and night? Well, campaign monitoring is crucial for being sure that you manage your campaign properly. No matter whether or not you're using a tracking software, you can get details of offers you're running in the Statistics and Orders tab of Ad Combo Interface. It stores and displays all necessary info on your campaigns. In today's video, we'll be examining this informative tab, along with learning how to promote offers in a secure way by parking your domain at Ad Combo. Ready to move to the next stage? Let's go! Statistics Affiliates value all their leads. That's why you have to carefully track every lead you get. No lead must be out of sight. To see lead statuses on offers and other useful tracking information, let's move to the Statistics tab first. Here, you can see conversion details and clicks coming from certain pre-landing and landing pages or offers or campaigns. Only info about active offers displays in the statistics. Therefore, only data on the offers that receive clicks or leads is available in this tab. If there isn't any traffic or changes on an offer during 24 hours, the offer's data gets invisible in the statistics. If the lead on the offer is being held for a while and then it's approved, the campaign stats appear again. There are various default filters and custom parameters to organize statistical data and check the needed info within the affiliate network. You can filter the data of your campaigns and offers by verticals, landing pages, subaccounts, time and data, last activity, or even compare the data of different periods. You can include parameters and exclude them to see the exact details you're looking for. Structure the info based on the essential parameters only. Like graphs, not tables? This button will change the format of the statistics displayed. Want to save the data as a report? Click on the CSV button to download it. Need more filters? In the filter settings, you can select the filters to appear in the statistics that sort all the data in the previous section based on the parameters you select. Feel like customizing the statistics view? So move to the column and custom param section. In the first one, you can select the columns that will appear in the statistics or disappear from it. Hover your cursor over the parameter to get a description of it. Then click on apply and see the statistics. To save your personal custom parameter set, click on this button. Go to account settings, to the general section, and put a tick here if you want to save all the changes in the column section of the statistics tab after signing out your account. In the custom param section, you can configure some visual parameters on the statistical table. Clicking on Limits enables you to set limits and see the specific values of your campaigns. For more info on filters and sections, click the Info icon next to the tab's title. So, the first statistic section serves for sorting info by the selected filters, while the other three ones allow you to adjust statistics table to your personal preferences and needs. Select the necessary filters and segment the statistics data to get the key info on the campaign. This info can reflect the campaign's performance and give you a slight idea on what to change in it. Orders. Here is another tab for you to analyze your campaign's performance. In this tab, you can look through little data passed on from call center agents who process the order forms from your leads. Despite being semi-hidden, the lead details can provide the date and time of the call, the lead's country, the offer's ID, and the ID of the landing page on which the order has been made. It also indicates whether the landing page is promoted alone or complemented by a pre-landing page. That can give you a hint on which way of promotion is more converting, with a pre-landing page or without it. Moreover, you can see the sub-account assigned to a campaign and the order status, the most important parameter to find out if the customer has confirmed the order or not. Remember that you won't be paid for non-confirmed or cancelled orders.
There are four order statuses in Ad Combo for COD offers. Above, you can filter the statuses to get the necessary one and analyze it. Ouch! Having a lot of trash orders is really painful. It may happen either when the traffic source provides not so quality traffic, or it isn't suitable for the offer. But there is a more painful moment, when your ad account gets banned. Unfortunately, we can't cast a spell to help you with that, but there is one option that may make your account more safe. Parking your own domain in the Ad Combo network. Domains. A domain name is the address to the server where the website is located. If you look at a tracking URL, you can see the domain name, the address where the landing page is located. There is also the identification of a click here. After arriving in the system, the identification of a click turns into data for the advertiser. By default, all landing and pre-landing pages are stored on the servers of AdCombo that are linked with its domain names. What does this mean? Firstly, domains are shared with lots of other AdCombo affiliates. Secondly, in case an ad lead to the same domain is blocked on, let's say, Facebook, another affiliate using this domain name is likely to face a ban too no matter how fine the landing page is. The reason is that the domain name loses credibility being blocked once. Park domains are used to point the new domain name to a different domain. If we have beautyslim.com and we want beautyslim.net to display the same website, we set it up as a parked domain. So the landing page is actually located at beautyslim.com, but after adding beautyslim.com to the DNS C name, of the domain beautyslim.net, the beautyslim.net will redirect users to beautyslim.com, which means it displays the same website. Buying your own domain name enables you to supervise it, be its single user, and change it when it's overused. This reduces the chances of your ads to be blocked, as there isn't any other banned content of strangers linked with the domain your ads includes. What's more, redirecting to Affiliate Network's domain may be a reason for rejecting the ad campaign with it, while the direct link to your domain or website seems more safe. Also, the customer's trust score is rising when they see the mention of the product in the site address. Learn more about domain names and how to create a trusted one by following the link in the description below the video. To get a domain, choose a domain registrar and buy a domain name. It's time to park it on AdCombo. Click on the Domains tab and then here. Select the needed type of your domain next. Then move to the Domains tab on the site of your domain registrar. Go to the DNS record section. Opt for the CNAME record and add the CNAME matching your domain type to the field so the system can identify the domain type in Ad Combo. Wait for a while. Then enter your domain name and done. You've pointed your domain name and connected your web address with the Ad Combo system. Activate your domain and click on Add. Note that using a tracking domain allows you to make a redirection to several websites, to all domains parked at Ad Combo and connected with the tracking domain. If you need to have one tracking domain as a primary tracking domain for all tracking links and another one for a couple of offers, buy two domain names, park them both on Ad Combo and make them active. Then select one of them as a primary tracking domain and add the other one manually to the tracking link when necessary.
All your domains will lead to the pre-landing and landing pages located on the servers of AdCompo. By parking your domain names, you just substitute default domain names of AdCombo for your own tracking domain name and domain names for pre-landing and landing pages. In other words, you just change the addresses or keys to the pages AdCombo hosts. Then, you can generate tracking links with your domain name inserted. Add landing and pre-landing pages to them, but be sure to park the domain names of the pages on AdCombo. Here are several crucial points to remember. 1. One domain name equals one landing page. Add a product's name to a domain name or mention the word shop to increase customer trust. Don't locate landing pages in the subfolders of the domain, since it's not a secure way of promoting offers. If the core domain, shop.beauty.com, is blocked, all the related landing pages in the subfolders will be blocked at once as well. 2. For pre-landing pages, you can use one domain name with many subdomains. It's a fine idea to make a blog serve as a pre-landing page. You're also free to buy two independent domain names, one for the landing page and the other for the pre-landing one. 3. Tracking domain must be independent, without links to landing or pre-landing pages. The iframe form and the site to which it's embedded usually differ. Just look at the default tracking URL and a default iframe form URL on the page of an offer. If you use the iframe form URL, add a special domain for every form of yours to add combo. By the way, if you decide to use the network's domain names, you can generate various tracking URLs in the My Campaign tab to make A-B tests. This also works with your own tracking domain name. The tab is helpful when you want to find out whether the offer converts better with or without a pre-landing page, or your team and you drive traffic to the same offer and you need unique links. Create several campaigns for the offer in the tab. Now all tracking links are generated with your domain name included. This way works for ready-made, pre-landing, and landing pages by AdCombo. If you want to change something in them or create your own pages, you'd better get a hosting server and using the API integration. You can find more info about hosting servers, their types, and recommendations on how to choose it via the same link in the description. Hooray! Our little yet extremely important mission is complete. Don't go far away. Soon we'll tell you about payment withdrawal, a translation service, and a way of extra monetization available right in your ad combo account. And for now, enjoy your secure tracking links and nice digits in the statistics. <laughs>